Yeah, um, we have Lindsay here from the Oakdale Performing Arts Center, and let's talk yeah. about what's going on. I think you've got a few events coming up. Yeah, <laughs> we do. Well, um, I, and one of them isn't technically, like, specifically, mm -hmm. you know, um, Arts Council, but as uh, Candace and I are both on the Red Dirt Black Gold Committee, mm -hmm. um, we actually just got the hospitality room set up for the volunteers there in our boardroom, and um, we're really, really excited, and hey, <laughs> it is two days away, guys, so if you guys want to come see, really great, and I'm, I'm, you know, they call it Red Dirt Country now, but being a native Texan, I'm going to be like, hey, Texas country music, come on, let's go see Bart Crow and um, Casey... Oh my God! I almost said the wrong thing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm apparently Casey gonna have one of those days. Band? Yeah, Casey and the Sunshine, Sunshine Band. There you go. <laughs> They're gonna be here. Oh my gosh! That's awesome. Is he still so alive? <laughs> <laughs> we are we are raising him from the dead. <laughs> no, he actually he Just is alive. The drummer for the Rolling Stones died. Yeah. Okay. No, I know that was like really sad. Yeah. Um, Nancy told me about that yesterday. Yeah. Well, see now you're finding the. I'm gonna make sure that I have this right because if I tell you wrong, then um, Elizabeth is gonna chicken choke me. So. <laughs> well, uh, let's see. Yeah. I think I have this laptop working, so it's red dirt. Like I almost said, I almost said Casey Donahue, but I don't think that's right. <laughs> yeah, it is Casey Donahue. Ah, I actually had it right the first time, guys. <laughs> Sorry, I just like yelled at y'all in the in the microphone. <laughs> well, we have processors. So. There you go. So so it'll it'll quiet it down. So cool. Oh, cool. So I could just like scream at the top of my head and like it would just. Well, not no. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> so Let's what is not start what is that. the website? It's Red Dirt, Black Gold. Um, I know there's like the Facebook page. I'm not 100 percent that there is. I'm sure. Oh yeah, RedDirtBlackGold.com. <laughs> Might help if I actually like okay. look at this. All right. Mm -hmm. Well, see, I, I, I got my uh, I got a laptop back, so I can I can put stuff back up on mm -hmm. the screen again. So. Yeah. So okay. Mm -hmm. uh, so what are you guys doing uh, in conjunction with Red Dirt Black Gold then? We're doing a little bit of everything. Candace handled the vendors because we are actually having vendors this year, and we'll have food trucks. Mm -hmm. So um, if you guys want to come check it out, hey, our artist of the month. Justin Lavario will be his selling his stuff out at Red Dirt Black Gold. Okay. And um, I know a few other folks will be out there. And so we'll have a lot of, you know, just like really great products, I think. Um, I'm not sure like who all's out there besides Justin, mainly because, you know, Justin and I have been working closely together on the Artist of the Month stuff. Um, also, um, come on, guys. Casey Donahue. You guys know you want to come see Casey Donahue and Bart Crow. They're really great bands. I remember seeing Casey Donahue when I was in college, which, I mean, was a long time ago. And I don't care who knows, it was 12 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> That's when I graduated. So this probably would have been closer to 15 years ago. Okay. And, um... You know, if you don't like the more poppy kind of country that's sort of like in style right now, then, you know, they I feel like they've got more of like the old school feel to okay. them. And um, yeah, so and there's going to be events. We have they have a cornhole tournament going on. So, mm -hmm. yeah, um, definitely check that out. OK, uh, let's see what else do we have going on. Um, yeah. And um, if you want to volunteer, just uh, give me a call because, you know, we might need a few f folks to come help. And, uh, yeah, so uh, Conoco Phillips, I believe, is helping out with that, sending us a few volunteers. I'll be volunteering and selling things at the merch table for about an hour or so and um, also helping with setup the day of. Mm -hmm. And, uh, yeah, so, no, and, I mean, it'll be fun just like it is every year. Okay. So we're really excited about that. Um, yeah, so speaking of Justin, um, if you guys are interested, we are having a... Semi, I'm going to say semi-private because we would like people to come in and ask questions and stuff. And we will be having an artist reception for Justin Lavario tomorrow. Oh, okay. Say it with me. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. <laughs> Which is Friday the 27th at 6 p.m. in the Ocotillo Performing Arts Lobby at 6. Okay. I said that twice, but I'm going to be redu redundant as possible so you guys remember this. And you can ask him questions. There will be some refreshments. And, yeah, so we look forward to seeing you guys there and come check out our artist of the month and then later after this weekend all of his stuff will be transferred down to the 510 gallery so if you guys still want to see his stuff and you have questions about it or want to purchase um then yeah just give him a call and uh say hey justin i like your stuff and um so that will be under the main street purview at that point and it'll be at the 510 gallery so people can and oh also he's bringing me new stuff that's oh, all i can okay. say i'm really excited to see it because we're going to unveil it tomorrow so if you want to see new works that he's done you definitely need to come to his artist reception and you have some of the pictures on the facebook mm -hmm. page right yep we sure do <laughs> we do now <laughs> no i just uh somebody else was using this computer in their uh 
uh, Facebook credentials are in this computer. <gasps> oh, no. <laughs> so I will. That actually happened at the Arts Council when somebody had left, like, probably two and a half, almost three years ago. Yeah. And I kind of stared at it. And I'm like, I'm going to be nice. I'm going to be nice. I'm going to be nice. <laughs> if you guys leave a job, whether you quit or get fired, make sure that if you have been logged in on your Facebook or your personal email, any of that stuff, which really you probably shouldn't be, but considering how much we do stuff and post things on Facebook, yeah, we are. Mm -hmm. Take log out of your accounts, people, because that's a great for way, f one, for somebody to, like, you know, hijack your Facebook account to or your email or any of that stuff. And so just make sure, make sure if you leave any place of employment, <laughs> don't get out of it, man. Just like or, log or out. Or smart Alex like me, because we were, we, this was years ago, we were having <laughs> lunch and uh, one of the guys that works for us mm -hmm. got up and left the table and left his phone. <laughs> and, and he didn't have his phone password protected. Oh no. So we got into the phone and we got into Facebook and we uh, posted a change on his status. <laughs> Ooh, Gene Savage over here. Gene Savage and then, Dow. And, and then, we, then, we log, you know, then we logged out and we put the phone down. Yeah. And we just waited. And then all of a sudden, <laughs> his phone started blowing up with all these text messages. <laughs> Please do not tell me you changed it from, like, married to, like, complicated. I'm not going to say. <laughs> <laughs> like, I want to know now. <laughs> not my business. Not my business. So so we had a tradition in, in my old community theater, too. If you left your phone anywhere and it yeah. wasn't password protected, uh -huh. let's just say a lot of phones, including mine, people would, um, like fellow actors, fellow backstage members, would steal the phone and walk around and take, like, I, and I don't mean, like, one selfie. And mm -hmm. usually, like, I was part of a lot of large cast shows. So when you have, like, 50-plus people, mm -hmm. you usually end up with, like, 50-plus selfies yep. on your cell phone. Yep. Because it's like, hey, don't leave your phone laying around. And yep. so that, so somebody would hijack and go run around and take, like, I, a whole bunch of selfies. Here's the thing. I think to this day, I still think he does not lock his phone. I think oh, no. His phone, he can lock it. Oh, no, I definitely lock my phone. Yeah. Just because, well, you never know. So um, And I'll say that somebody that doesn't have their phone locked, well, I don't have anything on here anybody would want. So that's not. Uh, the point. Uh, that's not the point. That's and not the point. To be fair, you do, especially if you use the internet. <laughs> that's right. If you've done anything on the internet, usernames, passwords, all that kind of stuff is on there. So lock your phone down. Mm -hmm. you know, Definitely, do, for do, sure. Do that. But otherwise, yep. you'll get with a group of coworkers that mm -hmm. will yep. make some kind of announcement mm -hmm. on your behalf yep. to your family and your exactly. friends that will then result in you having to take a, a lot of phone of calls text and messages. text messages. And go, yeah. You know, no. But, um, so, so further news on Artist of the Month. We do have someone yes, uh, okay. selected for September, but right. I can't reveal that just yet. So oh. just pay attention to our Facebook page and you guys will find out who it is. Okay. And I'm currently in talks with someone else for October. Okay. And I don't know yet quite what the plan is for November and December. Um, we are looking at possibly doing another art show. So yes, I will get you that information if we end up doing a pop-up art show because it will be all mediums, including photography. And I know, like we were talking about, Lana likes her photography. That's so, right. Yeah. That's right. She uh, she yeah. does that very well. Mm -hmm. So yeah. you've got so for Red Dirt Black Gold, you guys mm -hmm. are volunteering. You're going to mm -hmm. have Justin. Now Justin's display isn't going to be in the Ocotillo. It's going to be out on the. It it will be tonight, but then the next day it will be out there at uh, at Red Dirt Black Gold. He'll have Dirt everything Black. displayed on the tables. He'll be like, "Hey, come buy my stuff," and his stuff is gorgeous. Mm -hmm. And so yeah, and he spent a lot of hours on those. And so you know, like artistry as an artist myself, I can very much. Okay. Like, appreciate the detail and the work that goes into his stuff. And he collabs with his girlfriend on it. And I absolutely love that because he, you can just, like, tell how much he, in love he is with Cody. And so I'm just like, mm. yeah. <laughs> she's going to call me and be, or text me and be like, Lindsay, that was embarrassing. Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> now, I'm such a mushy but, person, though. <laughs> but you'll also be running, uh, you guys will be manning mm -hmm. the merch tables there as well. Yeah, at, merch uh, tables. There may be so, some of so us in the beer gardens. Just general. Of all the food booths are going to be there. Because mm -hmm. there's. There's how many food booths? You remember? Um, that I would have to ask Ashley Mason on that. I can't remember. I just talked to her yesterday. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She gave me the types of foods. Mm -hmm. Have you seen what types of foods are going to be there? I guess be a little bit of everything. Okay. Um, I mean, have, have have you heard of a name, or you know, that you're really excited about that they're coming to the Red Dirt Black Gold? I feel bad because like I had somebody, but just like my brain lately okay. with everything right. that's going Sorry. on, it's just like. Woo! But yeah, no, I mean, I mean, most of the food trucks that we usually have at these events are really, really I wrote, good food. It's in the other room. I wrote it down. I think mm -hmm. they're going to have an Asian uh, food mm -hmm. trailer and, so. uh, of course, your typical 
New Mexico <laughs> food Fair. trucks. And Which I'm actually very excited about because, mm -hmm. like, yes, I'm a native Texan and we do have good Mexican food over there, but mm -hmm. it's, like, a different kind of good over here. Yeah. And it's, like, I never really had a lot of Hatch green chili until I got here, and now I'm just, like, I love my green chili cheeseburgers. And this is coming from somebody who doesn't do spice all that well. And to be fair, green chilies compared to, like, jalapenos or, you know, anything of that caliber above that, I, yep. it's like, yeah, okay, I can handle that. I like a good smoky poblano. Mm -hmm. But, like, dadgum, if I'm just, like... I don't do it very often just because everybody hates me because my stomach hates me. And so we're not going to get into details because nobody wants to hear no, that. No, no, it's, it's okay. It's not for everybody, but yeah. uh, we... we uh, I swear I'm like the shame of Texas women everywhere because Tolerate of <laughs> uh, some of that behavior, mm -hmm. so you'll you'll be okay. There it's, you go. <laughs> <laughs> well, good. Yeah. Well, anything else coming up that you want to mention or yes. talk about? Yes, okay. So as right. you guys know, uh, the weekend of October 15th and 16th, that's a Friday and a Saturday, is Art in the Park. Art in the Park. Okay. Now, we still have some availability, but spaces are filling up fast we've really? been getting facebook messages and we've been getting emails and calls and um yeah so if you want to come sell your homemade wares at art in the park please please give us a call at 575-746-4212 or just shoot us a facebook message because we've been very good about answering those and there are some changes to the art in the park this year uh, uh the yes. big ones mm -hmm. are the number of days yes and the location mm -hmm. okay so we're going to be doing a two-day event now it's not a full day friday it's going to be in the afternoon probably from about 4 to 9 p.m and then it will be all day saturday from about 9 a.m ish to like 4 p.m okay and so also we're going to be setting up out at jc park so hey guys we'll have a lot more room to spread out and uh lots of different areas to sit and it'll be i think it'll be a lot of fun yeah okay so now is the mm -hmm. uh, band going to be doing their cakewalk that yes. day yes has that been confirmed mm -hmm. okay that has been confirmed uh candace has been working with the band director on that mm -hmm. and um i'm just gonna let you guys know that there is a deadline for sign up uh past seven september 18th the price will be going up okay i don't remember specifically how much right off the top of my head but it will go up a bit okay and uh, so um, entry fees are uh, $75 for the, two, for the full two days or just 50 for uh, Saturday only. Now, we aren't doing Friday only. We are the only day if you just want to exhibit and sell for one day, it's Saturday. Saturday. Mm -hmm. Okay. But 75 for the two, mm -hmm. 50 for Saturday. Yeah. And there is going to be a cakewalk. Yep. Uh, taking place during it, and it's yep. out at J.C. Park this mm -hmm. year. So. And we're hoping to have the jazz band from the New Mexico State school i'm probably calling that the wrong thing um there's there's like a state school of the arts mm -hmm. <laughs> i probably sound like i have i need caffeine Gene, <laughs> i need caffeine and that rhymed so there Machine you go down the hall so yeah, i may have to hit the coffee's bar after this <laughs> here oh, at the radio right. station but yes um so we are looking at having different things um our goal in a few years is to m turn this into like a full-blown arts festival that's sure. what we would like to do with it yeah and the nice thing is jc park has plenty of room to grow so they do. They That's do. That's the plan. That's the plan, Stan. Well, yeah. Stan. Jane. 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 Who's Stan? <laughs> what? Now I sound like in my birthplace. No, you sound like um, Paul Simon. Oh, there you go. 50 Ways to Leave Your Lover. You ever heard that song? No, I haven't. <laughs> All right. You're going to have to pull that up and listen to, to it, it right now. To, oh, okay. All right. <laughs> Lindsay, we're going to take a break. But thank you yeah. so much for coming yes, in. Yes, thank you for having us. And we will see you guys us. at sure. uh, the festival this weekend. Oh, yeah.